Automatic fans are very popular these days and for good reason. A lot of homes store huge amounts of heat right above the ceiling of the first or second story and that heat gets trapped underneath the roof of the house and then ends up heating up the living space of the house and all you need to do is suck out some of that hot air and replace it with even whatever the ambient temperature air is because it's certainly lower than what's stuck underneath the roof. Attic fans can cost two, three, four hundred dollars and they can clear a home 1,200 feet, 2,000 feet, any sort of space that air can get trapped and heated up by the external exposure of the sun onto the roof. When I was growing up, we had a device, we all called it an attic fan, mm -hmm. but it was really a whole house fan. We would turn it on at night and it would drag the outside air in and cool the house but it would it was air coming into the windows right so that's not technically that's not the attic fan you're talking about did that fan either drag your brother or a small <laughs> <Yeah>. dog out <laughs> they're like it was big a big fans. fan yes <laughs> but attic fans generally like for instance will suck cool air in through a vent and you have to penetrate the roof on top and the solar attic fan what's a benefit to it is that you don't have to have an electrician come and wire the fan. Sometimes attics don't have any electricity up there that's available, and so you, now you have increasing costs. Whereas a solar attic fan, it works during the day when it's sunny out, and the solar, it's free energy, and you're able to spin the fan and suck the heat out of the house for free. That's an excellent application for solar in a micro environment. Right. There you have it.